My name is Devin Page and I'm the Executive Director of EcoJustice and today we're talking about professional reliance in British Columbia. Professional reliance is when the government outsources management of the natural environment to qualified professionals. And in BC, they actually take it one step further. They strip the laws of the environmental standards and they don't make clear what qualified professionals are. So at the end of the day, what that means is a huge conflict of interest where industry hires somebody to tell them what they want to hear so that they can do what they want in the backcountry without being monitored and without compliance enforcement of the law. What that does at the end of the day, it hurts the environment to the benefit of industry. This is important now because the BC government has just released a report that's examined the application of this professional reliance model in BC. And basically it's a condemnation of the model, um, particularly related to forestry, where it says forestry is the most extreme example of protections having been stripped out of the law. And as one example that we face every day, it's led to more old growth dependent species being at risk. So spotted owls are tanking and partly that's because of the professional reliance model. EcoJustice is trying to work with the BC government to implement the recommendations of Mark Haddock's report on professional reliance. And then if that doesn't work, we'll develop litigation to pressure them. But the two key things we want out of this or we want them to implement the first recommendation, which is to start to oversee these professionals, pass umbrella legislation that demonstrates what standard professionals have to meet. And the second thing we want them to do is restore environmental protections to BC's laws. Okay, the first thing is the name Professional Reliance probably doesn't tell most people how important this initiative is. If we could leverage this report, it could lead to one of the most significant changes in environmental laws in BC in the last 20 years. So what people can do is help us amplify our call by sending a tweet to Environment Minister George Heyman or to your local MLA by following the link at the bottom of this blog.